everybody. Today I'm making a bin pin flower implosion or compression. Some people call it a compression marble. I'm just starting with a, the large flame and making a big gather because I want it to be a fairly decent size marble. This one ended up being about 1.5, which is technically small, but it's a good size for collectors. I hold my rod at this angle so that the part that I'm holding is down low. I prop my torch up, uh, you know, as high as I can get it so that the glass kind of falls onto itself but without letting it overlap on the rod because then you'll get lines and or creases in your glass and that'll make for a you know ugly marble <laughs> unless that's what you're going for So it's about what I, where I want it. So I put the torch back down and I aim the torch, the flame towards the middle to the end of the glass and all the while spinning fairly quickly to let the heat come out of the base. Um, you gotta keep it spinning so that it doesn't fold over slouch onto itself. This is my VIN pin tool. I got it from Mountain Glass years ago. And that's what you're going to press your glass onto when it's centered and hot enough. Then you put that, you uh, press your glass down onto that and it creates these little pinholes. Takes a lot of patience to melt glass. A lot of time to do it right. If you don't have patience, I don't recommend this. There, the end was just perfect. It was centered and hot enough to, you know, press on the, on the bin pin tool. And I think I got a really good impression on this one. I'm keeping the main uh, part of the marble out of the flame as I'm adjusting the torch and grabbing my color rod. And I don't use stringers for these um, impressions, or for these marbles, because you don't want the color to go up inside and disrupt your air trap. So I kind of you know start out as a little it's a little bit pointy but it's not a stringer you can fume this as well with gold and silver or use any color you want I I think I used amber purple in this one only amber purple my previous video 
uh, I used Amber Purple and Aquatic Carnival. The Aquatic Carnival isn't a very attractive color, but it gets this really cool blue fume ring around the petals. So you just cover each little impression with your color dot, a dot of color, whatever. <laughs> it's really hard to see uh, all the little places where you need to put your color, but you'll get used to it and you'll find your own way of how to keep track of which ones you need to fill still. I'm not trying to fill the holes, I'm just trying to trap the air. So I very lightly press the color rod onto the dot, um, just to kind of cap it off almost. I do have a lens over my camera to uh, so that you guys can see what I'm doing and it, if I didn't have that lens it would just be this huge orange glare. It's the same lens uh, that I have in my glasses. It just makes it easier for you to see what you're doing and, and it protects your eyes of course. So now I'm just uh, melting in the dots a little bit and getting the rim of the Maria super hot so that it starts to droop a little bit and that causes your uh, design to go up inside the glass. I'm really happy with the way this one's turning out. Sometimes the little air traps will round out and be perfect little bubbles, which is nice as well. But this one, I wanted them to stay like a candle, a candle flame. Turned out pretty good. So here you just, you know, to keep the design centered and also to help with the implosion, you just use your graphite marver to press but just press slightly you don't have to press hard if you press hard you're gonna smash your design which is exactly what I did in my previous VIN pin video <laughs> it was still a good marble but I smashed it I've made a bunch of these in my lifetime and I, that was a rookie mistake, smushing that thing. Here I give a, uh, just heat up the very, very end and just give it a little spin to create a cool backing without actually adding a backing. I like naked marbles, I don't know why. Surface work are fun, but when it's something like this, I just like to leave the back clear. Just smoothing it out, rounding it out. I'm using my Mike Close marble mold. It's a bump style mold.
just trying to get the camera really close or as close as I could so I've got the marble mold out of the frame. Add your punty when that side is completely round. <clears throat> And then heat up the opposite end and break it off or melt it off of the the large rod. Let that fall off. You have a lot of extra, extra glass sometimes on the end. And you know, once you do this for a while, you'll realize when you need to pull glass off. Otherwise it's gonna distort your whole marble. Like you've already rounded the other side. So this new side has to be about the same uh, amount of glass as the previous side. So then you round this side and it all comes together. And I'll show pictures at the end so you guys can see this one turned out really good. Heat your graphite tool when you're going to hold a marble for a while. You don't want that thermal shock to get your pretty marble. Just polishing the punty mark. Checking it with my light. This one just wasn't wasn't as round as I wanted it to be. So I'm gonna punty up on the other side and round out the bottom. Make sure you clean off your punties. There could be, you know, a little color transfer on there or uh, bubbles that might form. So you gotta pull those off so you get a good seal. When the marble goes out of the frame, I'm just checking it in the light. I know my graphite is still hot. Graphite stays hot for a while, so I didn't reheat that. And this is the final product. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Trying my hand at uh, voiceover. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share.